Wiggy time on the fly. What's up, folks? Hey, neighbors. Um, there's me. This is June or May 2004. I want to throw this up to the homie, that guy right there, Justice Payne, with the greatest manager of all time in the history of professional wrestling, Johnny D. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to put this up, too, because, uh, you know, Justice Payne got kids and he's got friends. And look at Johnny D trying to pay me off. Will it work? We'll see. Um, Pierre, I miss you, bro. Um, yeah, there's Justice Payne, and that's, I love that haircut I had. It was like frosted tips with the shave. I can't do it now because of my big old bald spot. I mean, because it's my hair's too thick. That's what I was gonna say. All right, let's pick up to see if we can hear what Justice Payne's gotta say. And uh, just real quick, I'll try to get the audio and commentary of this match, but uh, I just want to mention a couple things. Uh, John Zandig, my buddy Tony Myers told me this, John Zandig called Justice Payne the most jacked welder ever, <laughs> which is pretty funny because after wrestling, he, uh, he he was a welder. He was making great money, apparently, in the union down there in Philly. Um, for those of you that don't know, Justice Payne did take his own life, um, sadly, uh, in 2020. Uh, I really like Justice Payne, man. We weren't, like I said, we weren't super close, but we were buddies when we saw each other. He was just cool. He had the greatest entrance music to I Don't Know Anything by Mad Fun or something. Sweet action. Look at Insane Dragon. God, he was so fast, so quick. Loved the business more and got a little more in shape. Who knows? Sky's the limit. But, you know, I mean, the opportunities weren't as much back then. God, look how, like, I'm going to call myself agile, but I could get out of the ring quick then. I couldn't do that now. All right, Insane Dragon going for a dive. Let's see if we can pick up some of the audio, but um, just want to give a quick introduction. Justice Payne, R.I.P. Nice! Air Dragon. Um, everybody was Dragon back then. There was Super Dragon, Insane Dragon, uh, American Dragon, Ricky the Dragon, uh, Blue Dragon. Nothing but dragons. A lot of dragon around going on here. Ray, get out of the way. There's Ray Sager in the J.P. shirt. So yeah, let's, uh, shut up, Sean. Let's pick up the audio. In that cold, <coughs> hard, unforgiving steel, Justice Payne is a wrestler. He wants to take Callis to the ring, but the insane dragon's taking out the car. He knows he can't go to the ring. And the car's destroyed. Are you telling me that you're not impressed thus far in the contest with the insane dragon? He's controlled 100% of this contest so far. Yeah, because he's not the guy before the valley. What are you saying? Oh man, will I please get on the other side of the hard camera? I dare you. I gave him the office there. That looked good. Oh, come on now. Justin Payne out 
about choking and salting the insane dragon. Could have went for the cover, but instead took a cheap way out and started choking his opponent. The dragon's finish just as paid up. Slap and a fright in his face with that fist before he pushed him right in the door. And again, the dragon could be knocked out cold. Just as paid to get a TKO here in the opening contest of the seventh anniversary show. Justice Payne did not return to Jersey All Pro Wrestling to play games. He won the title. At first, he's going to take out the insane dragon. He already took out his brother, Dixie. Maybe he just doesn't like this family at all. Maybe not. I think Justice Payne, if, if he wins this matchup tonight, you got to consider him in the top five ranking at Dan Moff's title. Maybe after tonight, Trent has his title. And look at Johnny D telling Rep Hansen how his hair is out of place. He just telling him, listen, Hansen, let me help you out here. And Rep Justice Payne is going to be Johnny D's first single champion here in Jersey All Portland. I guarantee it. And there's no way the Dragon's going to survive this match tonight. Dragon still holding on the contest. Not. He's down right now. Looks back right. Don't cut out the insane Dragon just yet. Insane Dragon's not looking too insane right now. Look at that. A long blow with a kick. Oh, that wasn't a long blow. Come on. Insane Dragon tried to go for the Yakuza kick. Justice Payne tried to go for a German suplex. Dragon land on his feet. Yeah, you see, that's why they call it risks. Justice Payne was so damn good, man. Everything he did look good, I thought. Dragon's selling like crazy, too. you all like that one that's a blast from the past 2004 and i hope justice Payne, his family kids everybody his friends get to see this if this maybe this is a match you never saw and um <clears throat> i think we have extracurricular activity here <clears throat> yeah justice Payne was in and out of jp i wish he was full-time i mean just love to see him in low-key him in homicide 
him and Moff. And there's Deranged and Dix Dixie nailing Johnny D. Johnny D almost sold it. Look at that. Three on one here. Unbelievable. See, right there, they could have stopped right there. But they're going to keep it up. Let's see if we can hear some of the audio. Wow. 